God will never speak to another individual, Sarah, and tell another individual what your sin is. Let me help you with this. Because it, it, prophecy has killed so many people. And God will come and say, this is his shortcut. And speaking for anybody. I seen him doing this last night at 12 o'clock. He was out here. He was saying this. He was, no. Holy Ghost will never embarrass you. No. The Holy Ghost is there to die, to live, to protect, to guard. Come on. Catch this quickly. Because a lot of folks misinterpret what I just said right there. And they think the Holy Ghost is telling them your sins, your sins, your sins. Who do they think they are? They got sins as much as you got sin. Come on. They got shortcomings just as much as they got shortcomings. Amen. 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 Quickly, quickly. The Holy Ghost comes to dwell within, with and in the believer. As we just read in John 14, 7. I'm going to read this in here. The Holy Ghost fills the believer and causes him to be able to see. You need this tonight. Catch this. To be able to sing and speak melodies yes. in his heart. According to Ephesians 5, 18 through 19. Yes. Be not drunk with wine or is it excess, but be filled. Yes. Woo, yes. Filled up yes. with the Spirit. Yes. Speaking to yourself. Yes. It, speaking to yourself. You, you miss it. Stand all over this house if you're able to stand. Speaking to yourself. Y'all know you're talking to yourself all the time. All the time. Yes, yes. Speak to yourself. Uh huh. Bless you. I ain't gonna make that church. I didn't get a word tonight. I didn't get prophesied in my day. Come on. You know, you know, you've done that before and in your lifetime as church going people. Come on. Woo. But the Bible says, speak to yourself in Psalms. Why is it saying this? In melodies. Uh huh. Spiritual songs. Why did it say spiritual songs and not a country song? Because when you die, you've lost everything. You don't need to hear a song about she walked out on me last night, dog got run over. Come on, I, that's between you and the Lord on what you listen to. I was trust, I promise. That's between you and the Lord. I'm not saying it. I'm just saying, why did they say spiritual song? Because when you're down and out and you've lost everything, husbands walked out, wives walked out, kids have, have forsaken you and you've lost everything, your house is burnt. This is, you don't need to hear. That's not spiritual because spiritual is uplifting. It's edifying. Uh -huh. The Bible said in Jude 1, 20, beloved, building, because it's building up yourself in your most holy faith by praying by praying mm -hmm. in the Holy Ghost. Yes, How do I build myself up? Praying. Ooh, I can't wait to get in this next few weeks. In yes, the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost edifies, it builds up, it lifts up, it encourages, yes. it shows you how to go, where to go. Amen. So he seals the believer. Uh-huh. Ephesians 1 13, in whom you also trusted after you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and whom also after you believe, you are sealed with the Holy Ghost of promise. The seal is a stamp of approval. The Holy Ghost who draws you to the family of God also puts the seal on you as a Christian. A Christian. Holy Ghost strengthens inner man, builds a habitation, gives spiritual life. Uh huh. Amen. I'll close right there. Understand something. Don't say it's just for denominational who calls themselves Pentecostal or Holiness Church of God, Simmons and God kind of people. The Holy Ghost is for whosoever Amen. believes. Everybody believes of the Holy Ghost, but there's more for all of us as an feeling. I'd rather be 